that's all there is to it. It seems complicated. I went over some of the concepts fairly quickly, um, and I don't like doing that, but I also don't want to do a three-hour video on how to do regressions. But if you have a spreadsheet with some data, and I'll pull up that spreadsheet in a minute to show you exactly what it looks like, you can run it through R with just a simple line of code, run some predictions, and you'll have an expected goals model. It's fairly easy to do. Um, you can get fancier with it. You can do some machine learning. You can do other things. But honestly, I've calculated the effectiveness of each of the models, and simple regression worked far better than the more complicated models um, that I tried. Sometimes simple is good. This is all it is. You run a regression. You plug all your explanatory variables into the model. You let the computer calculate each of their effects on the likelihood of scoring goal. You run the predict function. It spits out of values. You save them in a spreadsheet. Life is good. Hopefully that makes sense. I feel like I've rushed through this a little bit, but I think the general idea makes sense. Just look at each variable's effect on the likelihood of scoring goal. You do that all together using probit regression, and you'll get XG values, expected goal values. So what now? Well, from these predicted values, we can answer a number of different questions. And that's the important part here. We can answer questions like, what were the expected goals in a given game? Does defensive pressure affect the likelihood of a shot becoming a goal? Does score affect the likelihood of a shot becoming a goal? What about the angle? Header versus kicked. We can look at which players took the best shots, which teams took the best shots. And anything more you want to do. This is a rich data set you can build here. You can answer any number of questions. Like I said, I'll post this publicly at some point. I'll post preliminary data at least so you can run it through yourself. Um, and then I'll post my final data set as soon as I've done some basic analyses that I want to get out with them. I'll share it with everybody. Um, I'm all about sharing public data. I understand why people don't. Um, someone said bills want to be paid more than data wants to be free. This is a hobby for me. I'm not making any money off of it, so I'm happy to share my data. Um, and hopefully you all can do some cool stuff with it, especially NWSL stats community could use more people participating. So if I'm if I can contribute to that both through doing my own work and sharing the data for other people to do some work, I'm more than happy to do so. Um, keep an eye out. It's going to be a while. I'm coming up toward finals at school, and I'm do, it's going very slowly, but it'll get done. And I'll post it, and you can all play with it, and life will be good. Here's those examples. Uh, you may have seen these if you follow me on Twitter. If you don't, follow me at SoccerMetric. Um, but these are some things I've posted here. Here's expected goals for the 2015 final. Um, here's probability of scoring by game state. As you can see, um, if you're winning, you take better XG shots. If you're losing, you take lower XG shots. Um, here at the bottom here, I did sort of an overall expected goals model for weeks 18 through 21. Uh, Kristen Press, Amy Rodriguez leading the pack. Um, and here was one of my more pop, actually most popular tweet of all time. Uh, likelihood of scoring um, whether a shooter's under pressure or not. It turns out pressure matters a lot for the first 10, 12 yards, sort of from the penalty spot in. Um, outside that, it doesn't matter for expected goals too much. These are just a few things you can do. Uh, these are quick plots I whipped up, quick analyses using the analysis I just did. They talk about data science is you know spending 20 hours collecting data to make one bar graph, and that's the experience here. I've been spending a long time collecting these data, and here's what you get from it. You get a simple spreadsheet, and you can answer some cool questions with it. Um, but life is good. This is, the, as far as I know, the first sort of expected goals model built for women's soccer. Um, it's important. Having data for women's soccer is important. Uh, someone wrote it basically as the way we, we tell our stories. And so I'm hoping more people will join in, take the data I've collected, contribute to the process. That's it. Um, as you see, Pickles the cat here, he's ready to recline in his hammock over there. Um, this is an expected goals model. I went through it fairly quickly. Like I said, watch my NWSL prediction model videos that are on my YouTube channel. Um, like, subscribe, and comment, and follow me on Twitter at SoccerMetric. Um, thank you all very much. I appreciate everyone watching. Please share this. Either retweet me or share it yourself. I'd love to get the biggest audience I possibly can for this kind of stuff getting more people involved in the analytics community, getting more people learning about these things, being able to critique effectively these types of models, to be able to talk about them intelligently. Um, life would be good. 
So thank you very much, everybody, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all next time.